Hey guys, my name is Brandon and this is Dino Corner. As you can tell by the title of this video, today we're going to be talking about what makes a dinosaur a dinosaur and why they're different from modern reptiles. Now I want to apologize, this video is going up a day late. I had to reshoot this multiple times just to make sure that I got all my information right because I confused myself with a lot of my research and realized I had said some things wrong and I wanted to make sure I put the best and the right information out there and make it not confusing because it is kind of confusing to explain and I'm doing my best to make sure I explain it in a non-confusing way. So I'm sure many of you have been to zoos and you may have said this yourself or heard a kid say this when you're around the crocodile or alligator exhibit. Look, living dinosaurs. Crocodiles and alligators are distantly related to dinosaurs, but they themselves are not dinosaurs. The most modern example we have of dinosaurs actually is birds, who are the direct descendants of the dinosaurs. Most of the differences between modern reptiles like crocodiles and dinosaurs are actually pretty easy to see. Modern reptiles walk with their legs splayed out to the side, they're cold-blooded, which is ectothermic, and they're covered in scales. Whereas dinosaurs have their legs under their body, they more than likely were endothermic, which is warm-blooded, and they also had scales. Or feathers. Or both. And come to think of it, birds also have feathers and scales. Okay, so scales are not exclusive to reptiles. I did say that crocodiles and dinosaurs are distantly related. What I meant by that was they share a common ancestor, which you have to go back really far to get to that common ancestor, namely to the Permian. The Permian was the time before the Triassic, which as many of you probably know, is when the rise of dinosaurs came up. In the Permian, there arose a new kind of ancient reptile called archosaurs. Now in a technical sense, archosaurs didn't truly rise up until the early Triassic. Nonetheless, they started in the Permian. Once archosaurs evolved a little more, they broke off into two major groups, Pseudosuchia and Avometatarsalia. Try saying that three times fast. Pseudosuchia is the group that includes modern crocodiles as well as their extinct relatives such as Caprosuchus or Sarcosuchus. Now the group Avometatarsalia includes not only avian and non-avian dinosaurs, it also includes pterosaurs. Now, just because this group includes pterosaurs does not mean a pterosaur is a dinosaur. It just means that that group did split off and have pterosaurs. Pterosaurs are distantly related to dinosaurs, but they themselves are still not dinosaurs. The same is said for mosasaurs. They are not dinosaurs. They are not swimming dinosaurs. They are still reptiles that are distantly related to dinosaurs. They actually broke off from a clade just before archosaurs, I believe. I got a little bit off topic, bringing it back in. I mentioned that dinosaurs are broken into two major groups, avian and non-avian dinosaurs. Those groups being saurischia and ornithischia, which are also known as lizard-hipped and bird-hipped dinosaurs. Don't let the names fool you. The bird-hipped dinosaurs are not the ones that evolved into birds. Those are actually ceratopsians, hadrosaurs, pachycephalosaurs, and other herbivorous dinosaurs. Whereas Saurischia, or the lizard hip dinosaurs, actually include the theropods and also include sauropodomorphs, which is like Diplodocus, Titanosaurs, those sorts of things. And the only reason the bird hip dinosaurs are called that is because their hips resemble the way modern bird hips look. This doesn't mean that they are the ancestors of birds. Their hips just happen to look similar. I should note that when you look at dinosaurs, they are technically reptiles, but they just aren't the way we think of reptiles. Okay, so that's about the most I'm gonna explain of this. If I start trying to go any farther, it's gonna start getting really weird. So a quick recap of all the points I covered. Reptiles are different from dinosaurs in that they walk with their legs out to the side and that they're cold-blooded. Dinosaurs walk with their legs under their body and are more than likely warm-blooded. Crocodiles and birds are distantly related by the ancient reptiles, archosaurs. Archosaurs also include dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are broken into two different kinds. The two kinds of dinosaur are lizard-hipped and bird-hipped. Lizard-hipped ones are the ancestors of birds, whereas bird-hipped ones are not. They're only called bird-hipped because their hips resemble those of modern-day birds. The lizard-hipped dinosaurs do primarily include theropods, but there are some herbivorous dinosaurs in there. If you have any questions or comments on stuff I said, make sure to leave them in the comments. If you have any suggestions of dinosaurs you want me to talk about, also leave those in the comments. And if I do talk about it, you may get a shout out. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.